Hey, hey, what's up everybody? I'm Quade Finnegan. I'm with the Drummer's Advocate. Today I wanted to talk to you about swapping heads in and out very quickly. I recently got a new drum kit down here in El Studio Del Taco and wasn't really uh, happy with the stock heads that it came with and decided I wanted to put on some new Remo drum heads and get them uh, tuned up in the manner in which I was happy with them. And so I was talking with some friends and they said, hey, you know, you should try out the uh, drill bit you can get and use with any standard drill so you can get the, the lugs uh, going on and off quicker and get the heads on. And I had never done that before. I'd always done it by hand. And so I was uh, lucky enough uh, to be the recipient of this Evans bit key um, that I'm going to use today with a, a cordless drill. Uh, this one's a Hercules, I think it's just a Harbor Freight cheapy, but it's variable speed and allows you to put uh, different settings on there so you you know don't run the risk of cranking it down too hard. Um, and uh, so I have here in front of me a steel Gretsch Taylor Hawkins snare drum. Um, I'm the lucky recipient of this drum. It has 10 lugs and uh, it's a beast. I'm sitting on a pearl double braced heavy duty snare stand and I have it uh, set so it's super loose so I can spin the drum around and get to all the different lug casings and all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm going to be outfitting this drum today with a Remo coated uh, control sound drum head. It's um, sort of your traditional controlled sound drum head, but it's also got um, um, the white film on it. The, the control sound dot is actually on the back side of the drum and it gives it a little bit more durability. It's a one ply head, so I thought it'd be kind of a cool combination with this steel snare drum to bring out some of the tone on the, on the steel shell and get some, a little bit of that ring, but uh, also make it a little bit more durable. Um, so we're gonna be using that. And for muffling, um, I'm going to be using some standard gaff tape. Uh, I like using standard gaff tape because I can make loop little holes, uh, little uh, loops and put them on the drum and I can take them on and off quickly by, you know, stick my finger and pulling them off. So without further ado, let's get the snare drum head off. Let's try out this bill, uh, drill bit and um, see what we got. I'm going to loosen these guys up a little bit. Just so we're not um, taking one lug off extremely fast and then having a lot of unevenness probably wouldn't be too good for the rim. Loose them up. So the reason why I'm doing this uh, video as well is I, I, I thought about it and you know there might be a situation where you only have one snare drum and you're in a studio situation studio situation and you know, the engineer doesn't really like what you got going on with your snare sound. Uh, you know, he's looking for something else and you might, you know, only have one snare drum, but you have all these different um, drum heads laying around and maybe you can try some different things out and, you know, make your engineer happy. Again, we're going with this Evans bit key. Uh, you know, it's a uh, uh, made to, to work on drums. I say you can uh, actually set it on the lug and it's rattle free and all this stuff. Um, I'm just gonna honestly keep it in this uh, plastic case here and um, when I need it and hopefully it works out and we can use it again and again. All right, so got it locked in that chalk there pretty good. Make sure uh, we're going backwards. Uh, so lefty loosey so we don't get these things um, cranked down. All right, let's give it a shot. Seems pretty straightforward. Just gonna go around the drum now that they're loose. So far so good. Just uh, throwing in a plastic bowl over here so they don't roll around and Loose parts. All right, so um, cool. We got all the lugs out. Let's take the head off. Start that. Kind of clean it up a little bit. Beautiful drum. Beautiful drum. Look at the inside of this thing. 
with all like that black metal. Even the inside is that way, so that's pretty cool. Clean it out, get the dust bunnies out. Very cool drum. Hopefully you guys saw that okay, but this is a really beautiful drum. Um, like I said, 10 lugs, you know, super durable, you know, probably more for that rock thing that the Taylor Hawkins has going on with the Foo Fighters. All right, let's pull out this bad boy. All right, I love the uh, hybrid nature of this drum head. Again, we've got the um, black dot on the bottom side. Very cool idea with uh, the single ply head and it's got the coating on there. Great idea, thought it would match up nice to this. Go ahead and put this bad boy on here. All right. We're gonna take these lugs, just put them on. Uh, just get them started. Gonna go ahead and rotate this on this pearl double brace stand. So the idea here is after we get this drum head on, um, we're going to take it back on the rig back here get it all mic'd up, dialed in, and uh, we're gonna have a listen and see what it sounds like. See if I can get that sound I was looking for. Um, sort of that John Bonham uh, metal snare sound-ish kind of thing, kind of vibe. And um, with the gaffer tape, we're gonna put that on there just to get some of the annoying overtones uh, out of the drum and then leave us with uh, a more pure sound um, so it's not too too ringy but hopefully the shell will sing uh, in combination with this drum head and uh, you know it'll be cool but you never know what you're gonna get until you do it so we're gonna do that today all right cool so I'm uh, spinning the drum around here um, essentially <clears throat> I've got all of these finger tightened on um, both sides sort of at the same time as I spin this drum around. All right, so that's like that. I always, uh, after I get it to that point, there we go, that's good. Um, I'll push down in the center and I just try to get some of the glue to seat a bit, you know. Cool. All right, so there we have it. Uh, now it's showtime with this drill bit. Let's see what we can do. I, I, I don't want to go too much. Um, I'm more interested in getting them off uh, of the drum head, uh, like getting the drum head off and getting these off in, in respect to using the tool. But I thought it'd be kind of fun just since we're doing it. I'm just going to do each one just a touch uh, in the right direction. They should go in the right direction. Just do one little turn. I can already hear it coming up to speed. I'm going to go every other lug crisscross, keeping my finger on the one I started with so I remember where I started with. Oh, that was a little bit, <laughs> a bit too much there. Just missed this guy. Right, so really I'm just doing this this is my first time drum, doing this and uh, you know I guess my thoughts are uh, great for getting the drum heads off you know I wanted to try it out put it on but honestly I just prefer the human touch uh, and the way it feels when I tighten the head down so uh, in respect take getting the drum head off uh, you know getting those lugs off real quick uh, hand seating the drum head on there and then performing the um, operation of just getting the lugs in there and then tighten them down and stuff do all that stuff by hand um, so Let's just get this drum tightened up a little bit and see what we got here. So everybody has their own different way of doing this. I just kind of use my ears. And I always find the uh, side that's got the... 
that's the most irregular from the others just to start it. we got the head seated nicely um, I'm not going to take it too much farther from here because what I want to do is get a microphone on it I'm gonna get some of this gaffer tape I know I'm going to use some gaffer tape because I always do regardless of the situation uh, just to get a little bit of the ring out so what I do is I get some gaffers tape and I use half of it and uh, I'm just gonna make a loop okay just like this nothing fancy super easy Ubiquitous, it's everywhere at any uh, hardware store or whatever. I'll put one up here by that Remo logo. And do one more on the other side. And I like the loops because um, you can take them off quickly, like I said, in and out. And, uh, you know, to your liking. Um, I don't really recommend using this process uh, if you're going to be a, if you're a touring drummer or if you're uh, going to the gig or whatever because these stick to the cases and stuff. So if you're going to do that, maybe you do more of a situation where you take a piece of gaffer tape and uh, make a little loop like that. Okay, and so it's like a I guess you would call that a T if you would, and then set that on there like so, and you can do that and it'll uh, provide very much uh, the same uh, sound and uh, idea with with these guys except it won't uh, stick to the case whatever so so that's that all right you can check me out at quadefinnegan.com uh, please uh, smash the like button say hello tell me what you think of the video if you have any thoughts if you've used these uh, bit keys before if you like the drum the drum heads or the pearl stands uh, whatever if you have any input that would be great uh, we're going to take this guy we're going to put it back uh, on the rig and uh, let's see what she sounds like all recorded up. Thanks, ever thanks everybody, and uh, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.